Konnichiwa minasan, Nihongo no Gakuse des. In this lesson, we will learn how to qualify nouns using verbs and adjectives. Basically, we will learn how to describe these nouns using verbs, adjectives, and phrases, etc. Now, for example, we have this noun, hito, person, hito. Now, we can describe this noun using these words. They are adjectives and nouns used as qualifiers and they describe the person, the noun. So, the translations are, for the first one, omoshiroi hito. It means an interesting person or a person who is interesting. Now, in English, they are both acceptable but the one more acceptable and usual is an interesting person. For the second, kamega nagai hito. This means long haired person or person with or a person who has a long hair. Nekaga sakina hito. It means a person who likes cat, cat loving person. And the last one, mega neo akete ruhito. It means a person who wears glasses or a person who is wearing glasses. Now we're going to focus in the last example. Mega neo akete ru. This example here is a complete sentence. When you say it, it is like saying, I am wearing glasses. Or I wear glasses. He wears glasses. She wears glasses depending on the context. Meganewa keteru. Now, if we add hito, it becomes a description of the person. Meganeo aketeru hito. It means now a person who wears glasses. See? Now, in this case, in order to make the phrase a qualifying or description, we use the verb in the te form plus iru. Verb in the te form plus iru. In this case, we do not use verb te form plus imas, okay? That's wrong. So, we use the casual form. Meganeo aketeru hito. A person who wears glasses. For example, Yui-san wa dono hito desu ka? Which person is Yui? Or which one is Yui? Hito can mean person or one. In English, which one? We use one instead of person. So, for example, here, Honno yonderu. Again, this sentence is a complete sentence. It means, I am reading a book. Honno yonderu. I am reading a book. Again, if we add a noun, the person, hito. It becomes now a description of the person or the noun, the one reading a book. Okay? Asoko de hon no yonderu hito desu. Yui is the one reading a book over there. Okay? Again, another one. Shashin no totteru. Again, this is a complete sentence. It means I am taking a picture or I am taking pictures. He, she is taking pictures and so on. This is a complete sentence in the casual form, present casual form. Now, if we add a noun, for example, we add gakuse. Shashin no totteru gakuse. It becomes now a description of the noun. In this case, it is the student. And the student is taking a picture. So, it is the student taking pictures. Asoko de shashin no toteru gakuse desu. You is the student taking pictures over there. Okay? Now, we can also use other casual form, not only te eru, we can also use 
Undoseru ito. It means the person who exercise. Undoseru ito. Mainichi undoseru ito. The person who exercise every day. Or negative. Biru no manai. Again, this is a complete sentence. Biru no manai. It means I don't drink beer in the casual form. But if we add a noun, like hito, biru o no manai hito, the person who doesn't drink beer, that's me. Biru o no manai hito. So it can be negative. And again, remember, it must be in the casual form, not in the mass form or the polite form. Now for the te form again, an example, arui teru hito. The person walking, arui teru hito. Koe no arui teru hito. The one walking at the park. Okay? So, arui teru is a complete sentence. I am walking. Arui teru. And remember again, in the te form, we use iru, the casual form. Te form plus iru. Alright, let's try to describe these people using the noun modification, the te-eru. For example, we have Nakamura. Nakamura. So, which one is Nakamura? Nakamura-san wa dono hita desu ka? Which person is Nakamura? Or which one is Nakamura? Nakamura-san wa dono hita desu ka? Let's describe her. She is the one wearing black t-shirt. So, to say this, we say, Kuroi t-shatsu. Kuroi t-shatsu, black t-shirt. O kiteru hito desu. Kuroi t-shatsu o kiteru hito desu. Kuroi t-shatsu o kiteru hito desu. She is the one wearing black shirt. And again, she is the one eating bento. Bento is a boxed lunch. It's a lunch in the box. O bento. So, o bento, tabete iru hito. Tabete iru hito, the one eating. O bento, tabete iru hito desu. She is the one eating bento. Alright, let's try for the other examples. Tanaka. Tanaka-san. So this is Tanaka-san. Tanaka-san wa dono hito desu ka? Which one is Tanaka? So here, Tanaka is the one wearing glasses. And Tanaka is the one talking. So how do we say this? Megane wa akete iru. So it means wearing glasses. Megane wa akete iru. And we add hito desu. Megane o aketeru hito desu. He's the one wearing glasses. He's the one talking. Hanashiteru. Hanashiteru is a complete sentence. It means I am talking. But if we add noun, it becomes a description. Hanashiteru hito desu. He's the one talking. Next, Yamaguchi. Yamaguchi-san wa donno hita desu ka? Yamaguchi-san wa donno hita desu ka? Which one is Yamaguchi? So here, Yamaguchi is the one drinking. Is the one drinking. Biru o nondeiru. Drinking beer. I am drinking beer. Biru o nondeiru. Hita desu. Biru o nondeiru hita desu. He is the one drinking beer. We have Nomura. Nomura-san wa dono hita desu ka? Which one is Nomura? So, he is the one sleeping and he is the one wearing kimono. He is the one sleeping. Neteru. Neteru hita desu. He is the one wearing kimono. Kimono kiteru. Kimono kiteru hita desu. He is the one wearing kimono. Kimono kiteru hito desu. Next, Mori. Mori-san. 
Mori san wa do no hito desu ka? Which one is Mori? So, he is the one singing. Utatte iru. Utatte iru. Singing. Utatte iru hito desu. He is the one singing. Utatte iru hito desu. Ookawa. Ookawa. Ookawa san wa do no hito desu ka? Which one is Okawa? So, he is the one dancing. And dancing is odoru. Odotte iru hito desu. Odotte iru hito desu. And lastly, we have Suzuki. Suzuki. Suzuki-san wa do no hito desu ka? Which one is Suzuki? She is the one playing guitar. So this is translated as Gita o hitte iru hito desu. Gita o hitte iru hito desu. She is the one playing guitar.